Ah, how's it going, Radical viewers? And welcome back to an old fan favorite that someone managed to convince me to actually come back to, Legends Are Redacted. And for this video, we're going to try to tackle Sam Fisher's outfit from Splinter Cell Conviction. I literally did this because someone requested it randomly, and I sat there and thought about it for a moment and went, you know what, I can actually probably just about make something close to it in the game with what we have now. And strangely enough, I came pretty close to the point where a couple of options I could throw at you can pretty much just help feather out the rest of it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and break down the outfit piece by piece, shall we? Now it's been forever since I've done one of these videos. First off, for those curious about, you know, how I did the hair and all that, facial hair is just a stubble. The hair itself, if I remember correctly, it's just short B. Yep. Keep forgetting where the hell that is. Hair color, obviously dark. Eye color, green. And that's about it. I mean, the face, you can debate left and frickin' right about which face it is. I felt Paul Dixon kind of fit the look, so I went with that. Enough about that. On to the actual outfit. Head protection. This is more of a later in the game kind of outfit, so bear with me on that note, as we have the third echelon sonar goggles, which are literally what he's wearing in the game, and that's what's what comes from the game. For the vest, I have two options for this in particular. The first being the Savariland V1 over Carrier, which is thankfully just plain enough where it can kind of sell the look of the tack vest he's wearing later in the game. But if you don't mind it coming in only green and just foregoing a backpack entirely for something that's going to have something of a backpack on it, the Bodark low bearing vest, strangely enough, is almost dead on for the exact shape I wanted. While you can't really see it because I have a backpack on currently, there is a bit of a pack back there that actually fits the vest look entirely. My only complaint about this vest is the fact that it only comes in this weird, slightly darker olive drab. If this came in black, it would have been perfect. I wouldn't even think about anything else. But sadly, that's what we got. So Safari Land it is. No gloves for this outfit as he's not really wearing any. For pants, the 511 Apex pants. And actually, we're going to want those in kind of a darker brown color. Though you can go with a little bit of a lighter, and it would still sell the look. Play around with the colors a little bit. Everyone looks at it and sees something different, no matter which version of the game they have. Both in Breakpoint and their TVs, and also Splinter Cell Conviction. We on the shoes, good old traction boots, and olive drab, which fit the look and the build pretty Damn fine. And of course, we're not going to want those blouse. We're going to want those just kind of settle there. And they look gorgeous and beautiful. No headset or glasses with this outfit. For backpack, if you are going for the overt Safari Land carrier as I did, Hill's backpack I personally picked in black simply for the fact that it does add a lot of the strapping that the vest is missing from itself, which is actually on the original version, which I really appreciated. Finally, moving on to the top. Honestly, the turtleneck almost had me, but the Helicon Tech Grid Fleece, I, I feel, kind of helped sell me a little bit further. I love the texture of it, and while I did went with Olive Drive Green for my version, it looks pretty solid also, just in plain black for the outfit. I'm not going to lie, I actually went through and remade a bunch of Splinter Cell outfits specifically because this actually looked so good and had my attention. That all said, that's it. And as usual, I hope you all enjoyed. If you all did enjoy, a great way of showing that support, as always, is by liking the video, subscribe to the channel, and of course, sharing it with your friends. And while this series kind of has been shelved more often than not, I'm going to go ahead and say, by all means, make requests. If it catches my attention and I feel like I can do something with it, you might end up with a video like this. And I'll just go ahead and make it. Or if I can't do the video itself, I'll do what I did for this one, make the outfit, and just send kind of like a picture along with what I used to make it to you, just for fun. Because that's literally how this came to be. Someone requested that I do it, and if I didn't do a video on it, at least send me how I made it, just for kicks. Anyway, once again though, thank you all for watching, and as usual, cheers to those that love us, the losers that lost us, and as always, lucky sons of bitches that get to meet us. And we will catch you all in the next video. 
Which, barring anything else happening in my life, should be the Neo video I've been promising for two weeks. See you then.